it's Cindy, and we're back playing Ark Survival Ascended on the center. And in this video, we just wanted to go out and get another gas max. This is an adult, and I didn't want to tame this one. I wanted to get the baby, but gas bags are so hard to try to take down. So I figured, you know what? I'll just go find the baby. The parent's long gone. And um, I saw this little bouncing baby baby, this little bean trying to elude me. Look at him try so hard. But we're gonna knock him out. <sighs> no big deal. Look at him run. You can't escape my love. My little arrow, my cupid arrows, you fiend. It did take a while. It was almost took as many arrows as an adult does. <laughs> what the heck? But we put some berries in its butt, and before we knew it, it was up. Actually, it took an extremely long time for it to get tamed. I'm I'm joking about it being fast. So we took the little guy back home. This little gas bags is a low level, just like the one we tamed from before. But you know what? It's a good start. We'll just work up from here. All we had to do is feed it some berries, make sure it didn't starve, get an imprint, and then we can breed the two, the boy and the goyle. Once, once the child was grown, we set them to breed. And conception. So I decided to get on the uh, pteranodon and we we're just gonna go look for some goodies, you know? Here in the center, it doesn't seem that easy to find, like, the loot crates, the beacon thingies, so I just decided to fly around, you know, try to get some stuff on my map. I really wanted to see what this stuff was, and I was exceptionally disappointed that it was beyond, uh, beyond the border. Uh, like, I wanted to go up there. I've, I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know that's what it was. What the heck? DISAPPOINTED! Since we were passing the Redwoods, I saw a ton of Pteranodons, and I saw a high-level one with the baby. So, of course, I'm going to bolo the Pteranodon and take the baby. I mean, why would I waste my resources trying to tame the mom? That's not how I do things, obviously. <laughs> this is just the way Indy does things. It's just easy. It just works. And we pop it in the dino ball and you know what? We just had we just had it home. We just get get gone. While I was out I decided to, you know, peruse the aquatic fauna. And there was the Zephactinus. I don't know about you, but I hate these ah. fish. They're not friends. I don't want them. I think I'm tempted to actually take them out of my single player game. That's how much I dislike them. But you know what? Maybe we'll just keep it in. Just for funsies. Just to keep it interesting. But just keep in mind I do hate them and I'll take them out at a moment's notice. <laughs> <sighs> you gotta love the occasional dogfight with a seagull. Ichthyornis, as I recall. I do like them as a shoulder pat for catching fish, but... I don't know. I don't know if they work. Do they give you the golden fish? I I mean, other than that, if the honest, are kind of annoying. But anyway, we we're going around the map, basically trying to fill in everything. I didn't really explore the center very much in the past, so this is new to me. Getting some loot crates, because honestly, I need free stuff. Ark provides, right? Does Ark provide? It's not providing me anything. I did like this cave though. I feel like the mushrooms were kind of exciting me, but of course, it's not really aberration. I feel like it's teasing aberration. And you know, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for Abby. So I'm looking in here, I'm like, you know what? I could build something. This would be really nice. It is literally in the center of the map. Let's be honest. So we land right here. And then disaster strikes. The game freezes and it crashes. Isn't that wonderful? And then as soon as I shut down the game, there's an update. Oh, there's a patch. Wonderful, wonderful. 
So everything I just did, lost. So we breathe the gas bags again. I wait for the baby to erupt. We see its first breath. It's beautiful. It's pouring rain. You love to see it. But then I hear something. I'm taking care of the baby. But there's a ruckus outside. It sounds like a Rex, doesn't it? Listen, I peer out. There's a huge predator beyond my walls. That thing could destroy this, these mere rope walls. A treat. I'm looking at it. He's biting something. What is going on? I have no idea. I'm confused. I do see a theory nearby. The Rex is of a lower level than this theory, and theories are pretty tough. We know this. We use them for boss fights. So I'm just sitting there watching. Is it gonna make it over to the Rex? We all know theories. They like running into people, running into creatures. So I watch and I wait. So this theory is taking chunks out of that Rex. And then I realize it starts running away and I'm like, bro, where are you going? It's like not even that hurt. But then I wait and I see it come back. Of course, they always come back. And you know what? That theory, our champion finishes off the Rex. I have to do nothing. So you know what? Not so bad having theories bumbling around my home. I go over there because of course I'm going to hack up this Rex for hide. Easy peasy lemon a squeezy. Free hide just for me. But then I notice something and I turn around. What was it biting? <gasps> and it's a baby. A baby fairy. I'm like, what? What? And I can claim it? Free fairy. And it's blue and black? Bro, what better colors? There are none. A free baby? Let's go, guy. Let me take you home. I'll raise you up. We'll be best buds. Or you'll just sit around my base or, you know, whatever. Either way, you'll be safe, my friend. We just need to give you a name. I thought about naming him Blueberry, but then I, like, totally forgot. So, you know. If you have a name su suggestion, go ahead and leave one in the comments. For this little baby, baby, baby... Is it a boy? This baby boy blue fairy. Oh, look at him, he's so cute. So the wee gas bags is now a big gas bags. Uh, the only issue is that is oxygen level is very low. So we are struggling to stay in the air without losing too much gas because you know what? If you hit the ground with not enough gas in your gas bags, your gas bags takes fall damage. In comparison, if you have maybe like 50 and above gas minimum, no damage whatsoever. Perfect creature. It doesn't matter how much weight they're carrying either. But that's the thing. We will likely be finding more gas bags soon. And I think we'll just gradually upgrade our gas bag. We'll find the next one and the next one until we have the ideal base stats. And then we might do some mutations. But you know what? Gas bags are so great. Just a single generation will do. As long as you got all the good stats. So I named him Gassy because I'm not creative at all. I've been very tired lately. Uh, we get up on the train on, and you know what? We're just gonna go get some resources because that's the main function of our gas bags. He's a diplo in the sky. He can carry so much, and we must utilize that ability in our little friend. And what do we need more than anything else but metal? So much metal. And you know what? We also get some crystal too because that's too heavy for me to carry. So let's throw it on the gas bags. And you know what? Our gas bags wasn't even half full when we left. Unfortunately, we weren't too far away, so the whole gas issue 
was just not a problem. I think the only thing is trying to descend into the base, but we've got that nice hole in the ceiling. It's perfect to just float right into. Oh, what a graceful descent. Beautiful. I was finally able to hatch my iguanodon. I almost forgot. I was only able to do it at night because it was just cool enough. And I could just throw it on the ground. It was perfect. Once my little iguanodon was all raised up, I put him in my gas bags and dino balls and we decided to go do some loot hunting. <laughs> I figured once I gathered enough loot, then, you know, I would just dump it all on the gas bags and we'd float right home. Sounds great, right? I thought so. But, um, I don't know. It was difficult. A lot of really good loot crates were just in the middle of the water. And I didn't really want to risk going out there. That kind of sucked. So we just kind of got, like, these measly ones. And not gonna lie, the loot? Pure garbage. Like, some things were really good. Most things were, like, not. <laughs> And I was just like, oh no, I'm gonna have to like throw away half the stuff in here. Or like, it's just stuff I can already make. Ugh. I did go to the terminal because I remember on Scorched Earth, I put a Maywing in there. Of course it wasn't there. So we're just gonna have to wait. Or go to the Redwoods and tame a Maywing. That's probably what we're gonna do in the next video. Spoiler alert. <laughs> but for now, this is what we got. God, look at all these cheap building items. I don't need this. I can make that. And then I got like another turtle. I don't want turtles. I don't want a turtle saddle. We've got like some fur. I guess we'll go up in the mountains and make some use of that. Oh, look at this. Ugh. Just like meager hodgepodge stone. Stone structure is great. Wonderful. And that's when I found one. A pyroman. Very interesting creature. I was beginning to think, should I get the DLC? Should I pay a little five money skin? And then I thought, what exactly do they do? It's on fire, right? And then it struck. Oh my god, it's like 30 seconds of fire? Fire burning? That was horrifying. I was yelling. I didn't have it recorded. I'm sorry. And of course, our freaking terrain on flies away before I could put in a dino ball. And he wants revenge. And I'm like, bro, I can't. There's a raptor. There's a cat. And then I totally forgot that I had wings on. So of course we're going to go flying. I start whistling. I can see him. He's going after the fire kitty. I'm like, what are you doing, dude? This stupid pteranodon's going to get cooked gonna get cooked if I can't get him back so you know I'm hoping he can hear me whistling at him you will see the point where it stops and then it comes to me oh perfect but then it's like okay how long has he been burning already is he going to survive us when we reach safety and then I had this thought okay we're flying he's pretty fast can I get a dino ball and can I put him in the dino ball I'm like oh my god He's taking so much damage. Look at how hurt he is. Of course, I failed miserably at the dino ball thing. I can't imagine what it looks like. I mean, me watching this right now in post. Horrifying. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Just land. <laughs> Don't worry, I land. I was so hurt. He had like maybe a quarter of health left. You know, since I'm breeding every creature that I use in this playthrough, I need to be a responsible dino parent and make sure that I don't let my creatures perish unnecessarily. We gotta be we gotta be better. We cannot perish. We have to take 
care of our tyrannosaur. He's our baby boy. So I figured I'll let him stand here on the beach, have a relax, and then I'll just go swim out into danger and I'll get the shitty freaking loot crate. It's fine. it's fine. He's here to pick me up. He's a good boy and we love him. Fortunately, we have the gas bags in our dino pocket. So we put the train on away. We got out gassy. Old reliable gassy. Look at him go. We put all of the goodies on him. And we made night we made like Team Rocket and we blasted off again. There's really no other way to describe it. Unfortunately, he has low gas, so we can only get so far. Oh my god, we're gonna have to work on this. I think all points from here on in went into either stamina or oxygen, because there was a point where we got stranded out in the water. And while gas bags make wonderful flotation devices, when they're out of stamina, they do not move very well through the water. We were kind of just bouncing around. But, you know, we got there. We got to a little rock and we got our gas back. We got our stamina back. And we are back at it again. Oh, look how majestic he is. Once we get a really good gas bag, we will be able to go halfway across the map in a single gas. But until then, we have gassy. And he's a good boy and we must cherish him. So there was a moment. I became very ambitious and I decided to tear down the little house, the little hut down there, put up pillars and build an elevated home, just in case little things come in. I took everything down. But one thing I did was when I took the structures down, I didn't empty the containers and I left them on the ground because I thought, oh, I'll just go pick them up. I didn't pick them up. It was all ready an hour later. I had built everything, it looks fantastic. But everything was gone. The loot, the other dinos, the resources that weren't in the forge. I think the only thing I took out was the forge. All of that is gone. Not in my gas bags, even though you could carry everything. All the eggs, completely gone. All the loot that I had gotten from earlier, all that shit's gone. All of the creatures, except for these two iguanodons, I guess I had them in my pocket for some reason. They're fucking gone. The gas bags of the pteranodons are gone for breeding. Um, yeah. All that fur gear and stuff I was gonna wear. Bye. Bye, dumb indie. Look at what you did. You just got carried away again. Fan freaking tastic. But you know what? No matter. We got on our iguanodon because he's safe and sound. And we went to go get another gas bags. I saw high level one on the map. It was a bit of a walk. And there were a lot of crazy stuff going on. I think I came across three Alpha Raptors, a Ceratosaurus, there was a Rex at one point, little terror birds running around. I'm like, whatever. Our guy was freaking zooming. It was not a bother. It was of no matter. I don't even think we got like grazed by any of these creatures. Our one and on is phenomenal. And you know what? I did run back and forth a couple times because I'm a dingus and I forget things. Like, I didn't even have my bow because I forgot that I lost it. And you know what? It was very difficult at trying to... I'm not sure what I was trying to do to catch it. I thought I could just wall in it or something. Then I saw a shiny horse. But, of course, I'm gonna pike it, because I want the rewards that they give. So, finally, I'm like, alright, I got a bear trap. 
We're gonna get the guy in the bear trap and then I guess I'll just freaking wing it from there because you know, whatever. Fortunately, they do chase you a little bit. And I got him in the bear trap. Now, I didn't know what I was trying to do, but I did manage to just like stick the, <laughs> stick the billboards on it. And I realized, oh, I can just get it stuck that way. Look at this guy, he's trying to inflate. No! Fiend. And that's a moment of truth. I'm like, oh, you mean I, it can literally clip right through him and keep him there? And you know what? It did work. I left and came back multiple times and he was still stuck in there. But I did notice that there was a really big T-Rex not far from us. I'm like, keep my eyeball on it. Did you know that that was an Alpha Rex? I was horrified. So of course I'm gonna lead it away with my fast little iguanodon. Dude, he looks crazy. Look at the ridges on that guy. Have you seen these guys up close? Of course you have. They're unforgettable. Fortunately, I got distracted by some other guys, so I was able to go back. The teaming process, I did keep my eye on him. Never take your eye off the prize or the enemy. Okay? Remember that. Tranquilization was complete. Fortunately, I had the kibble from that one shiny and appetizer X. This is a fast appetizer, my favorite type. And instant tame, beautiful perfection. Get this little baboon and put it in the dino ball and then it's time to take it back home and begin the breeding process. Well, after I got home, I noticed that there was some fighting going on and there was an acro fighting a Bracky. How interesting. I saw this acro earlier and I thought, it's a 145. I'm gonna have to tame her. There is no taming this acro. It is already at death's door. It made the foolish mistake of fighting a Bracky. This Bracky is nowhere near its level, but it is powerful enough to smash it into pudding. But that's exactly what happened. Because this Bracky has a baby and it's going to do what it's got to do. And that's exactly what it did. Rest in pepperoni is 145 acro. You were never going to win. So let's celebrate life with creating another life. And so we bred the gas bags. And you know what? It was a joyous occasion. You'll love to see it. This beautiful couple here is going to have a bouncing baby bean in no time. I think it's like 15 minutes. And we rejoiced as the baby was born, taking in its first breath. Once again, we see the circle of life continue. Another gas. Who's 17 just like mom? I think I gave it a cookie, but I honestly didn't need to. Either way, this is the end of the video. You know what? Let me tell you guys something. I have a coffee page. If you want to see extra content that I didn't add into these videos, shoot, go to my coffee page, become a member. If you don't want to become a member, you can also give a little contribution here and there. It's not a big deal, but it does support the channel immensely i always have a goal on there check me out if not hey watching the videos helps immensely thank you for being here thank you for joining the end of the video club it's happy it's a happy time i'm glad that you're here anyway that's the end of the video thanks for watching and i hope to see you in the next one bye this video is sponsored by viewers like you Thank you. And thank you so much to all of my coffee supporters. If you would like to support the channel just a little bit more, go ahead and visit my coffee page. Link is also in the description.